Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirito here. Now, whenever we last left off, Deku, he had actually just told All Might, basically, hey, I'm strong enough without your quirk. Go give it to this asshole. Now, let us start where we left off. But we're not starting with Deku. We're starting with Bakugo. Bakugo actually was told that for taking on his quirk, he is actually going to have to do something a bit differently. He is going to have to train his body. And he is going to have to train it, and he actually has an entire thing planned. As Bakugo would just show All Might that he's actually quite fit, because he always tries to fight Deku. So he would have actually been training very hard. Now, after hearing this, All Might would have actually seen Bakugo, and he would have said that, that yes, that is true, but All Might would have then explained that whenever he uses one for all the first I do is get... <sighs> <sighs> He actually has quite a the strain on his body. Now, since All Might essentially has that 20% power boost, then Cannon, he actually feels the physical strain on his muscles, but not on his bones. Now, after this, Bakugo would be told by All Might that they are going to go into a gym nearby and start training. As Bakugo and All Might would walk in, All Might would see Deku just doing his regular training, actually just benching and repping 500 pounds like it's easy. Which he would then add more weight on and just continue. Now, after seeing this, All Might's just looking at him, and he's helping Bakugo lift at least, I want to say 200 to 300 pounds. All Might's telling Bakugo that he had an entire thing planned, but the gym is good too, I guess. He was just going to take Bakugo to the night by beach and clean it up. As Deku would just shout from across the room that he already cleaned it up, he actually did that this morning as a warm-up. Which All Might would hear and he would not believe. Now, why did I say that? Because... Baka or All Might would have said that he has an entire plan set up to actually give Deku one for all, or at least help train him. Because usually the strain, whenever he gets stronger, would actually be more. So he would have actually told him about him cleaning up Deku Ball Beach. Which Deku didn't have to do, but he did it just to show All Might that he doesn't need to do it in 10 months. So it's basically the epitome of. Hey, can you hand me that glass over there? Yeah, sure. Just sits it down right in front of you instead of handing it to you. It's that ter that's that type of disrespect. Now, this is one of our All Might and Baku will be training. After about six months, Baku has actually built up near to, if not around, this type of muscle. Because he was already stronger than Cannon Baku. And Deku has just been literally basking in sunlight and actually just relaxing for a lot of time, if not studying. Because you can't just be the strongest physically. The brain is a very important muscle to work, is what Deku thinks. So being the strongest, he would want to be the strongest in every category. Because... Well, come on. You can't be the strongest and be stupid. Now, this is whenever we will skip over to Bakugo actually getting one for all. Bakugo would get it and he'd actually try throwing a punch. And as soon as he would have thrown a punch, 
he would have actually seen the power one for all has. Which would actually surprise him. But he would have broken his arm. Now, after this, All Might would explain to Baku that, yeah, that's kind of like that, but he's the first time he's ever actually seen it break something. But one thing he was told to do is try, try focusing it all throughout your body. Just turn it on and let it flow throughout your entire body. Baku would turn on one for all and he'd actually put it into his arm. And he would actually see as the glowing from his arm would actually stop doing it so much and actually turn into red electricity. As it would just start forming around his arm and actually start going throughout his entire body. Which would surprise him. As All Might would actually buff back up, saying that they are going to be doing combat training now. All Might would train Bakugo. And Bakugo has actually been learning a bit more of All Might's type of fighting style. Along with him getting Black Whip. Now, All Might's fighting style is essentially just... He can throw out his hands, and he can smack them together. Now, as soon as he smacks them together, he can just shoot Black Whip through the shockwave, grabbing people out of midair as they are knocked off balance, unable to guard. Which, Baku would actually try and do. Now then. Baku would also have his explosions. So, he actually has three quirks. And, let us skip over to the entrance exam. Baku is at 20%, which basically means that he is around 30% of canon one for all. If not, let's see, a third of the way up there. Now, after this, Deku, he would just continue his daily routine until it's time for the entrance exam. Now, as he packs on more muscle, he actually is able to hold more sun- sunshine. Which basically means that his base body is actually somewhat resonating with his quirk. So instead of having to turn on the switch in his head where he starts growing, some he actually has just been doing that. So he's been going through a bit more growth spurts. Which where he would actually be at least half a meter taller, if not, than Ida. So he can actually look down at Ida, somewhat similar to, hmm, I believe I had it. What the heck? I was going to say, like, if Ida and Deku were similar heights, Ida's forehead would be about where the bottom of Deku's chin would be. So he could just look down at Ida. Now. This is when the entrance exam would begin. Deku would walk in, and this is whenever Baku would also walk in too. Now he sees Deku, and he would immediately look up at him, because Deku is essentially as big as a mountain. Now, people are looking at him, and they think he just has a giant quirk. So he would have sat down in a specialized chair they had to made for him. Now. This is when Deku, he would actually just immediately finish the test in about, let's see, he did it in about a third, if not a fourth of the time, everyone in the area did it in, actually scoring near perfectly, because I believe, I believe Momo said she got a 98 or a 99, so Deku would have actually been able to get bonus points along with the fact that he scored a 99, which basically means that he got 110 points. Along with actually fixing something they had wrong in the paper, which Nezu would have actually had to overlook. Essentially finding a flaw in their system. Now, this is one of Deku. They would all go down, and Deku's actually just in a regular tank top, and he is in these type of pants. Now, this is essentially fireproof spandex. 
It's essentially made by the same company that makes mountain ladies clothes. So they they can stretch, but they're also fireproof like Endeavor's clothing. Now, Deku would actually be in his clothing, and he's actually walking to the front. As Ia would say, that pro shouldn't be here. Even then, you can't go talk to that girl over there. Deku would say he has no interest in talking to her. He's just going to stand here, and he's going to wait for everyone to leave. So that he can actually make a proper entrance. Ida would say that he shouldn't be so cocky. He should be more nervous than anything. They don't know, you don't even know if you're going to get in the UA. Deku would say, how could he not? He is going to win, and he is going to crush All Might's record. Which is when Ida would just walk away from him, because that guy is way too cocky. Now, as soon as this begins, <laughs> ugh, I had something in my teeth. As soon as this begins, this is one of our Deku. He would immediately just be left standing there, as he would have given everyone a minute to clear out. Now, President Mike would immediately look down, and he would see that Deku just standing there with his eyes closed, crossing his arms. As soon as President Mike would say something, Deku would just immediately launch off with one foot, actually growing to the size of Escanor, because he was already about half this size. He was actually half the size of Escanor, if not around... Hmm. Yeah, I'd say about half the size, because that's still around the same size as Zeta. Now, as soon as this would have happened, everyone would have immediately just seen Deku essentially grow in size as he's just punching through monsters. Monsters. Hmm. I love it whenever I try and reference the anime in some small detail. And I actually just directly say something straight out of the anime. He is punching through robots, not monsters, I'm sorry. And he would just be doing that. Now people would see as Deku is literally just doing this all with one hand tied behind his back. As they would think that he's just very cocky. As whenever a robot would immediately go to punch Deku, as soon as its hand would make contact with Deku, it would immediately just start melting. The robot would pull its hand back as Deku would just grab it, crush its head, and just throw it through an entire line of other robots. He would then create one cruel sun in his hand, holding it up, hmm, similar to this size, throwing it through, destroying an entire block full of robots. Which is whenever everyone will just realize that this guy is literally doing what he set out to do. This guy is beating all my record. As the zero pointer would arrive. Now, as soon as Deku would look up and see it, he would just start smirking. As people see him walking towards it, and as soon as that happens, he just grows bigger and bigger until he finally reaches Eskinor's size. Which is whenever he actually just starts stretching, saying that it's been quite a while since he's been like this. It's rather fun. As he would immediately just leap off of one foot. Actually just throwing, or well, actually just riding a cruel sun that he put underneath his legs. As soon as he gets to the top of it, he would have actually just done a flip off of it, and he just starts falling backwards down. As soon as he's falling, the entire robot would just melt through, actually collapsing into itself. As Deku would just smash in the ground on his back. People would come over to check on him, and he is literally just laying on the ground, probably about submerged in three to four feet into the ground, as he would immediately just say that he's actually fine. That was nothing. As he would immediately get out of the hole, and he would hear a girl calling for help. He would walk over, and all Ochako hears is just boom, boom, boom. With each footstep, as Deku would just grab the cement and just throw it into a. Well, he would grab it and he would just toss it through a building. Which is whenever she would actually be in shock, saying that. asking if the pro can help her. He would just say that he's no, he's no pro, he just passed the interest exam. And he's pretty sure he got some rescue points. 
Now, she's saying, what are, What do you mean? There was only villain points. Deku would just tell her that you really don't understand this. Villain points are destroying robots. Hero points are saving people. How do you know that? I don't. It's just that, why would they say that... Why would they stop someone from having a different category like that? It'd be the easiest way to score points. And prove that you don't need to destroy things. Now, I will be on my way. As he would immediately turn around and just leap off of one leg. Now, Deku is realizing that after pushing himself this far, since he hasn't done it in a forever, he actually needs to go somewhere. Because noon is approaching. Now then, this is whenever Bakugo, he would have saw, he would have at least seen something flying through the air, and he would have just thought that it was Midoriya, or it was probably just All Might. Now then, let us cut to... Okay, I can do this. Aizawa's Ancient Exam and the Hero vs. Villains. Perfect. Now, Deku, he would be walking in on the first day of UA, and he's actually still at the size of Escanor. Because he can only stop himself from going into the one mode. Shrinking down actually takes a bit more time after releasing too much power. So, he would actually be as tall as the door for 1A. He would immediately slide it open. And he would look around and everyone is just seeing this giant massive behemoth of muscle. And this is whenever Ochako would actually run in, try and run behind Deku, but she can't really get past him. Uh, she would just start saying something. Deku would immediately turn around and he would look down and see her. He would actually bend down and ask her what, if she needs something. She would just say, thank you for saving me back then, but it was really cool what you did. As Aizawa would immediately wake up, he would look and he's just like, well, the doors are like that for a reason. Anyways, everyone, we are going to be doing a... We are going to be doing a physical exam, or a quirk apprehension test. So, I expect one of you to at least be expelled, Moneta. Wait, why did you point at me? Anyway, don't worry about that. Now then, this is whenever Deku, he would immediately change, and people are watching him as he would actually somewhat, well, he would, he wouldn't shrink down, but I was going to say, like, he would somewhat shrink down. Well, at least, never mind. He would actually just put on his outfit, and people are watching how small it is, as he would actually just force it over, and they're actually really surprised by this. Now, this is one of Deku. He would actually just tell them that it's fine, because this is how he had it made, or how they made it for him. Deku would go first on the ball throw. He would have immediately just cocked back his arm, making it as big as he possibly can. Just shooting that thing into space, but it gets about to the top of the ozone layer before it melts. Which is whenever Aizawa's phone would just say infinite, infinite, then error. As Deku would say that the ball probably melted. Now, for the part where they have to stay in the air, Deku is literally just... I was going to say he's flapping his arms like a bird or he would just make a pair of wings, but for the long-term test... Let's say he at least jumps over a kilometer, so he actually would win. The grip test, he would win. Side versus side lunges, he just makes literal puddles. Like, liquid puddles, just red. And he would win in every single category. Mineta would be expelled, and this is whenever Kendo would actually get into class 1A. Seeing this giant behemoth. She would actually be really surprised, and she's asking him what his quirk is. Everyone immediately turned, wanting to know what his quirk is, and they would hear him just say the simple word, sunshine. As he would explain it, and let us cut to the heroes versus villains. 
Now, the heroes versus villains, this is whenever Deku, he would actually be paired up with Kendo. So, Bakugo and Todoroki are the people going against him. As soon as this would have happened, Deku was actually able to somewhat shrink down. Because I believe it was about a week later that they did this test. So let us say that he was actually able to shrink down more. And he, he would have arrived one day and people would have saw him. And they would be confused. Deku would have said that his quirk allows him to essentially stockpile sunlight. And if he, if he leaves it on for an extended period of time, he actually returns to the way he used to be with his quirk. Essentially with friendly fire on. Which everyone is, is somewhat interested by, but they really don't want to see the effects that has. Now, Deku would actually just tell Kendo that he's got this, as the entire building would be covered in ice. Kendo would say that, are you sure about that? As Deku would just start laughing, walking in, and immediately turning on his quirk growing in size. Now, as soon as he does that, this is when the entire building starts just melting. And I mean just turning into a puddle. Now, after Deku would actually just start making his way through the building, melting it in the process, Todoroki is actually on the ground, trying not to pass out because of how dehydrated he is. Because his ice side is actually overwhelming, being overwhelmed. As Bakugo is also sweating more and more, he's thinking that this is perfect. As he would immediately charge at Deku, and Deku would see Bakugo, Bakugo would have immediately thrown about a 40% smash, which is basically 60% of All Might's power. And just as soon as he makes a connect with Deku, he would just hear the entire shockwave cut the building in half as Deku is still looking down at Bakugo, asking if that was it. Bakugo is actually even in shock now, thinking that that was, that was All Might's power against him. What is going on? As he would immediately wrap Deku up in Black Whip. He would actually get him by the arms and the legs, along with wrapping most of his torso. Deku would look at this, saying that that is quite interesting, but that will not stop him as he would actually just show Bakugo a move he has created for something like this. It's essentially what he calls obliteration. He would immediately just show Bakugo as he would bring his arms outward to his sides and just turn up the heat by as much as possible. The building would start melting faster and it's actually turning into some powder. Now then, as that's happening, the bomb, Deku would actually go over and grab it, and he would just chuck it into the air as high as he can. Getting to the outside of the building, and all I would say that that didn't really work, because he just threw the bomb straight up into the air. Deku would just tell All Might, give it a minute. He would immediately just put his hand outward, and the bomb would just land in his hand which is whenever everyone would be confused and some people are actually surprised. And All Might's pretty impressed. And Bak All Might would just say, how did he know how to, how to do that? Deku would say, because I goddamn can. As he would set it down and walk away like a badass. Now, that is where I'm going to be leaving this part off, of, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And I will try and record another part as soon as possible. I will catch you guys later.